Alrighty, folks. Got my parts. These two little parts came all the way from Japan. These are the end of the end all for this one customized Daiwa Zillion. Alright. And what I have here is my super bling baby Daiwa Zillion. Absolutely most beautiful of reels. In almost, I guess you could call it, red, white, and blue. Made in Japan. <laughs> Actually, this big giant thumb bar here, as I explained in one of the other videos, is the cat's ass of all time. Along with the handle. So, what we got here is a parts change out this here let me get a pointer this here that's silver Ooh, we can't have that will be replaced by blue this silver screw that takes the side plate off will be replaced with blue with an actual like Allen wrench in it. No more of this slot crap. Allen wrench. Just like right here. Allen wrench. Okay. Just like these screws. Allen wrench. So much better all the time than just a straight slot thing here. So I will undo this and just simply pop off the side plate. All right. And then I have to take this off which I don't really know how we do but I think we just keep unscrewing I certainly hope so because I see a little I see a little something or other in there let's see if I just keep unscrewing let's see what happens Oh boy, don't you know, don't you love it when you don't know what's going to happen? I don't know what is going to happen. I can't see because my damn hand's in the way. But I may have to look it up on their website. Because there's a thing, there might be a little clip or something. It's spring loaded. Well, it seems to want to be coming out. But I can't tell. All right. Well, I'll have to see it up on Hedgehog Studios website. They make mention of it on there and literally show you. So, okay, Hedgehog Studio. Alright, well let's go to this part because this here is going to be real easy like. That screw is replaced with this. Now you know what I have in here also that I haven't done? Um, I've got a ball bearing for this side of the level wind. It just didn't seem to want to go in absolutely perfect by no means. So... I'm going to have to get a little tiny, tiny, tiny Allen wrench, which I think I have. But, let's go in here and see. Yep, that's a little, a little big. 
All right, well, let's go in here. Let's take this screw out, which I've already had out. All right. There we go. And it will be being replaced by, and see, all this is, is the level wind bar. All right. And help holding on the front cover here. So, I'll screw this in here. And I just need to find a, a little hex head key. We're back. I've just happened to have the perfect size. There we go. We snug that up. So look how pretty. We got the blue paw cap. We have the blue level wine bar. And we'll soon have this. I got to go look and see. So let me look and see how they replace this. And I'll be right back. All right, folks. Well, guess what? This isn't as easy as you think it is because things are underneath things. What I've had to do just to replace this, take this out and put this in, is get rid of all this. You've got two little clamps, you got a bearing, you've got a little rubber washer, and then you've got the, these little, uh, little pressure pads, I guess you could say here. I don't know exactly what they're called. All to get down to a little fine screw down here. Whoop, there we go. So, down in here, there's a screw. Oh, that's why. They got, they got the Loctite on it. Now, you lift out your whole entire braking system. And there we go. There's a little clip right there. Look at a finer little thing. Oh, the little clip moves around. Oh, there we go. The little clip comes out. Now, this entire thing is exposed and supposedly on the end of here there is a little washer and on that washer Under that washer, right there, is a little E clip. See the little E clip? Right on the very end. Right there. Boy, I'm telling you, you lose any of these parts, you are S the hell O L. So.
This could be embarrassing. I know you can't see anything. Neither can I. There we go with the clip. And you know, didn't I say this in my old video that I actually enjoy doing stuff like this? So there's the clip. There's that. There's the spring. Just to get rid of this and replace it with this. <laughs> Y'all must think I am absolutely crazy. But that's it, brothers and sisters. All right, well, I'm going to concentrate on putting this back together, okay? So I'm going to turn the camera off, and I'm going to show you the end product. How about that? All right. There we go, folks. There is the blue screw that replaced this one. It wasn't so hard once I got to look at it. So this is Bling Master Central right here. <laughs> and you know what I was thinking when I was doing this? And here's the part that replaced, that this replaced. You can see the blue in there. When I was doing this, I was thinking, how many people would actually take up this? Because, you know, there's so many people who, I mean, they're not really fishermen. They just go fishing. That I see. Um, and the thing about it is, is that they show up at the bait shop. And I mean, the bait shop just loves these people. And so does the real repairman. Uh, they can't do the simplest thing. Uh, they can't replace a part. And I mean, they'll have like a quality reel. They'll have like a nice pen, you know, SS spinning reel or something. And they just don't realize that all you have to do is go on Penn's website and uh, just order that part. No, they want to drop it off and they want somebody to do this and that. And there's so many people that are afraid to open up their reels. Well, let me tell you something. With doing what I'm doing here today... And what I've done all here prior. Okay. You get to know how your reels are built. So when you get to know how they're built. What makes them tick. It's very satisfying. I believe. I feel it's very satisfying. Okay. To, to know how my reels here work. I know now everything about these mag adjustments in here. Okay, I know everything about it. And I saw how it works. I took it apart. I put it back together again. So, that's that. There's the total blinged out reel. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're probably saying to yourself, what's this Daiwa Zillion doing over here? Well, this is the red, white, and blue one. With the red accents. And this is what this one used to look like. There's the thumb bar. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison here. Okay, there's, there's the differences in the thumb bar. Look at the size of that thumb bar. Let me pull the camera down here a little bit. 
Look at the size of this stun bar. It's metal, plastic. Okay. Um, side by side here. There's blue, silver. Now I did replace the handle on here. Okay. Inside, right in here, there's gold accents. Just like there's gold accents on the top right here. Right here, gold accents. I replaced the handle on this one, but I've done nothing else. There's the silver screws, there's the red screws. So I've done a lot of work on this reel. Haven't done anything to this one yet except just put a handle on it. But um, this one will probably be totally blinged out too. It doesn't cost a lot. It costs more in time. Installing the parts. The parts are very inexpensive. $8 here, $4 there, $10. $10. I'd say, you know, the biggest deal is this handle. Which these are $40 handles. You can go up to carbon fiber, compressed carbon fiber layered handles. Okay. With special knobs on them. And you can spend, I've seen already, $180 on a damn handle. Okay. But what you have here is a custom personalized Daiwa reel. I get the satisfaction out of every time I even look at this reel. How I design this reel. Yes, they make the parts. I pick the parts. I pick the color schemes. Uh, this one over here, it's going to be everything blue. Blue, gold, and silver. So, if I do anything this with this, there's no red. There's not, No, this is going to be blue, 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 blue. Everything's going to be blue. Okay. So, there you go. There'll be a little bit more, I'm sure, on this uh, playlist of videos. And I also got me here a little tube of super duper fine ultra bearing uh, lube. It's actually blended by Hog uh, Hedgehog Studios. It's actually blended by them. And it's super lightweight oil for the zillion bearings. Uh, they do give you some high, high quality lube for these bearings on these reels, but I just wanted to get a little extra, so I got it. This is the pal, that's what it's called right there, Alchemy Oil. And I can see how they came up with that name since they uh, have like a little section where they're talking about how they actually blended it themselves. Made in Japan, I don't know what all this says. That's some interesting writing when you really look at it. So, that's that from Hedgehog Studios. And um, I'll be getting some more parts. And you can follow along with me as I try to change them out. Now that I really, really know what I'm doing. Alright, so, pull the camera up just a little bit here. So, there you go. That is the end of the bling. Yeah, baby.